What do we have here? Look at this beauty. This is the Kaiser Z82. It's not a Z28. It's not a sports car. It's a Z82. For those dyslexics like me, it will definitely remind you of that car name. No T-tops on this one. This one is literally one of my favorite knives. This contoured G10 with these holes that help it just be very grippy and are also just kind of neat because you can see down inside of it. You can see the blade. I, I really wish they would come up with this in different colors. If it had a natural G10 with, with a non-blacked blade, just like a whatever, a polished blade or a stone washed or whatever. I assume this is a coated blade. Um, it is just an amazing knife. It's just super solid, not too heavy, drop shutty. Look at that, look at this, look at this drop shut. It's really nice. The only downside when I got it, other than the lack of a thumb stud, but that's a personal preference, was the detent was a little too strong. It was like actually kind of pokey on your finger, it was so strong. I did a little bit of a detent ramp in there on the detent hole in the blade, and it's perfect now. Great pocket clip. It has that little duck bill angle to it, but it still works great. And it's so nice and wide and rounded that you just, you don't feel it. You don't feel it at all. It's got this finger choil that's almost big enough for you to put your finger up there. It could stand to be widened a bit, but that's, again, just personal preference. The blade shape is just beautiful. It's almost a, I guess that you'd call it a tanto, tanto, whatever, but really it's just a drop point with a slight corner. Uh, it's got the uh, little titanium colored collar surround there on the pivot, which, whatever. But really the star of the show is the the action, the handle shape, and the blade. What is the blade steel? N690, so nothing fancy, but better than D2, I think. Good steel. And the price tag, I think it's 70 bucks, a $70 knife. This is a, to me, this is, uh, it's a $100 knife. At least a $90 knife. It, it's punching above its weight class for sure. That's got the typical Kaiser thumb stud, but nice. I think the designer's name is on there, but I don't know. It looks like it says Mally, Nelly. Don't know. I should look that up and probably put it right here across the screen. And then you'll know who designed it. Pocket clip is a bit wide, but I think that's part of why it's so comfy. It really is nice. G10, because it's contoured, it, it shows its grain kind of, almost like in a wood type way. I'm sure you've seen that before on some knives, but it just really looks nice. It's not overly complicated, nice, simple, two standoffs in the back and the pivot. That's the only thing holding it together. It's easy to take apart and clean, although you can see that I haven't done that in a while. But I've used this quite a bit. The blade coating's holding up. I would advise getting a thumb stud. Now this thumb stud I had to widen it out a little bit because the blade's a little bit wider than these normally come. But that wasn't too hard. Used a file. Ridiculous. Great sound. Great knife for 70 bucks. Come on, Kaiser. Make them in some different colors, different options. Do it. We could, we could make this thing popular because it really does fly under the radar. Not too many people talk about it, but it's a great knife. Grab a Z82. Have a nice day.